Hello there, fellow model railroaders. Um, I'm back with another video, another decoder install. And you're looking at a Broadway Limited Imports GP20. These came out about, I think, 2019, I think, or 2021. I, I'm not sure. I really, but they've, they've, within the last five years for sure. And the detail on it is very good. The sound is not so good because um, BLI went, really went out of their way to ensure good detail on this locomotive, but unfortunately they didn't do their homework on the sound. <clears throat> Sorry BLI, but um, the sound is not correct on these. They come from the factory with GP with 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 GP9 sound, and GP9s were equipped with a uh, non-turbocharged 567, which is okay for a GP9, but GP20s came with a turbocharged 567, and basically all a GP20 is is a, is a turbocharged GP9, but. <clears throat> They were the big deal back in the early, late, late, late fifties, early sixties. So, but anyhow, this is a Broadway Limited Imports GP20. And so I have taken out the old decoder, which is a Paragon 4. This is the old decoder. And it came with, it installed, it came with an immense amount of wires and connectors and Oh my gosh, you just, I mean, it, it, there was just so much going on. This was such a busy decoder. And I don't care for the Paragon 4s. Uh, reason being is that they, they're just doing too much. Uh, no matter what you do, whenever you turn the locomotive on, all the Mars lights went on, all the number boards went on, all the class lights went on, all the headlights went on, uh, and the cab light turned on. It didn't matter that you turned them off previous. Uh, they would turn themselves on again. This would uh, happen repeatedly, and it, it got old. So, and I just didn't like how how they handled, how they how you had to use them. Uh, and again, the sound wasn't right. The main thing with me was the sound wasn't right. So, I have taken it upon myself to replace the Paragon 4 decoder, the factory installed decoder with a decoder buddy, a version five decoder buddy, with a, this is the, this is the decoder buddy, version five, and it's the longer board, the mini is smaller, but because I have so many, I have about seven functions, seven lights on this locomotive, or about eight lights actually, I needed an, something with that would accept the eight function decoder, which the mini will do too, but it doesn't have as many functions. So I wouldn't be able to utilize all the functions on, on the decoder. This is the decoder that I'm using. Sorry about the shadows and the sun is setting behind my back. So, but this is the decoder I'm using. It's an TSU 21 pin. NEM8, the 8 standing for 8 function, 21 pin standing for 21 pin decoder, and the NEM is the architecture. So and it's part number 885809. Okay, so, and it's for EMD diesel models. So this is the decoder that I've installed. And to let you know, I'm going to, I'm going on a, uh, based on a bullet list here, just to show you, trying to make sure I cover all the points. Um, the thing I like about the version five decoder buddy is when you take the old decoder off, the decoder buddy, the version five decoder buddy fits precisely where the Paragon decoder sat. All you do is you take up these two screws, one here, as you see right there, and there's one there, and then there's just two pins on on the opposing corners, and you remove the the, the Paragon Four, 
and the decoder buddy version 5 version 5 decoder buddy slips right in you just put the screws back on and you are good to go so um i've covered the decoder that i'm using um the thing i like about the decoder i'm doing it this way is that there's very minimal handling of the decoder you do all your work of the function wires and the the motor wires, uh, track pickups, everything to the decoder buddy. Make sure you got that all dialed in. And then when you're done, when you're ready to run, you just take the decoder and slip it on these pins right here, right here that are sticking out of the decoder buddy, and you're good to go. <clears throat> so um, I reiterated the benefits of the decoder. Um, the decoder buddy, like I said, fits perfectly where the Paragon 4 sat, so that makes it so much easier. <clears throat> this locomotive is also equipped with a GoPack, which is BLI's version of a current keeper or a capacitor bank. So I'm not sure. The only thing is, because I kept the speaker that came with it. The, the speaker actually puts out really good sound. So I opted to stay with the speaker that came with it. So I'm not sure, however, if it's going to fit. So I may have to do some rearranging, but it does work. It works. It's got sound now. It's got the turbocharged 567 sound. And uh, to let you know, also with the Go Pack, it's a three wire Go Pack, but the Decoder Buddy accepts three wire uh, Go Packs or current keepers. So, and this is where the, they're, they're wired, is right over here. You'll see right here. And it shows you on the Decoder Buddy packaging how you wire based on. The blue wire where the blue wire needs to go and the function wires. And it shows you right here on this side where the wires for the uh, go pack should go. Now the decoder buddy comes equipped with um, it comes equipped with a, uh, resistors already installed on it. So um, I think it works out pretty good. The only, I wouldn't say it's a mistake that I made. I, I don't know if it's a mistake, but really uh, each wire or function wire, from what I understand, and maybe you can leave a comment if you feel otherwise, I, I ran all the uh, common wires from each function, which I believe there's about five of them, to one wire, and then that one wire lands on the baby board or what I call a piggyback board. They call it a connector board. So this is the connector board right here. But at any rate, all these functions are going into the uh, one, one spot or one uh, soldering pad. So uh, each function, and maybe I'm getting crossed up here, but, but the decoder buddy comes with thousand watt resistors for your functions and i think each function wire not the common wire is where the resistor is going to because i believe that's on the load side so but at any rate this is the decoder buddy it works out really good it's not hard to do uh something else i'd like to show you real quick you got to do a dope sheet, or at least that's what I did. Uh, I did a dope sheet, and this is my dope sheet right here. Now, this isn't to say this is how it is for every uh, Broadway Limited Imports GP20. I have another one, another Broadway Limited GP20 that has... The, the same configuration, but I don't know if the wires are the same. These might be different. I kind of doubt it. You'd probably be okay, but I had to go in with a, uh, a battery pack and check each wire and mark them down 
to make sure which wires were which. And so I would know what the commons were as well as the function wires. So, and that probably took up most of my time. So, but I just have one of these. It's super easy to do if you have one of these. It's a battery pack, just has two AA batteries in it. And I've got these two clips. I'll show you here real quick. Clip to one wire and then these here on the other. And if you see right here, I got them clipped to the wires. And then I just clip these uh, to the wires on the red goes to the common wire and the black goes to the function wire. And that's how I was able to test to make sure that each wire, you know, what, why, what each wire was. I had to ID each wire. So again, I'll show you this. You can try this. Uh, like I say, uh, it's probably the same, but then again, I don't know. I had, like I say, I have another GP20 that has a, um, the same setup and I, I have yet to take that and open it up and see. But at any rate, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same. So you can probably use this list. I would definitely check it though before you, you just, I wouldn't take this for verbatim. So, but anyhow, I think that's about it. I look at my list here real quick. And oh yeah, there, there is when you're doing when you're doing the, the uh, check of your wires for your functions, there's two gray wires. And I marked one of the gray wires to make sure I didn't get mixed it up, I didn't get it mixed up with the other gray wire. So um, there's several black wires too, but each black wire is with a different color except for the two gray wires. There's two gray wires. Um, so I just marked one wire with the few with the, with a sharpie, and then I just marked that down as to what they were. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, this this is not difficult. I know a lot of people are upset that BLI did this. They installed GP9 sound on a GP20, but to be honest with you, if you go with a decoder buddy. Uh, for me, anyhow, it's been it's been pretty easy. It, it, it's, I think the second one will get, will go even uh, will go much easier. The thing I have left to do now is some wire management and making sure that this go pack fits. Um, to let you know, I tested this locomotive with and without, or without and with a go pack or a current keeper. And it did fine on my number six switches, but it did stall on my number eight switches, my number eight Atlas switches. So as soon as I put the go pack in, no problems. So the wheelbase is somewhat short, I guess you might say. Um, but with the go pack, there's no problem. So it works really well with the go pack. My only hope is it fits because like, as you can see, there's the speaker tucked up inside up against the roof, the roof line of the locomotive. And I'm hoping it fits. So we're gonna find out though. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything I can think of with this. Uh, again, I hope this helps somebody. So, um, the only thing I got left to do now, like I said, is the wire management and putting uh, Katie couplers on this and it should be good to go. Okay, I thank everybody for watching. Leave any comments you might have, what your experience was, or if I, uh, if there's a better way you, you uh, have of doing so something with this, I'm always open to suggestions. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.